So uh, my task has been already uh, actually in many years to make uh, certain uh, conclusion after the whole conference uh, presentations are over. And I tried to do it shortly today as well. To not uh, labeling all the presenters uh, na uh, by name, but to bring out, I guess, in my opinion, more important uh, ideas and thoughts. As uh, our very first uh, uh, speaker in a, in, in a greeting word said, Corona has uh, drastically changed our world and uh, COVID-19 showed how fragile should be one of the principal freedom of EU, namely free movement of people. So basically we can't take anything for granted. Uh, during this Corona crisis, a new term came to, into use. Uh, I'm talking about mobility bubble, and I will come back to this issue. Uh, if we talk about Baltic countries, then uh, Latvia, is Lithuania was still standing countries, uh, while Estonia already became a destination country. And we had different opinions here among the presenters, but uh, it looks like that um, migration turn is just taking place, or at least it is an issue of the next uh, few coming years in uh, other Baltic countries, I mean in Latvia and Lithuania. Last year was remarkable in terms of return migration from Finland to Estonia. Uh, we evidence first time the situation that more Estonians moved back from Estonia, from Finland, compared to those who moved from Estonia to Finland. And I guess this is uh, also the beginning of the new trend. 30% of Estonians living in Finland planning to come to back to Estonia. And there is a clear correlation between investing to Estonia and uh, in intention to return. The 30% are not uh, returning, at uh, least in their plans, and the rest 40% don't know what their future plans will be. As Steve mentioned, there are two key driving factors in return migration, feeling of homeland and uh, wish, and also possibility to give education to children in homeland. During Corona crisis, Nordic borders were closed without any coordination, any pre-notice. That created enormous uncertainty and also increased untrust between Nordic countries. To avoid this, perhaps we need to create migration bubbles, not only in the Baltic countries, but also in the Nordic countries in the future. And inside this bubble, we can have a certain protocol, how to coordinate our activities, how to share information, early warning system, if you like, and so on. Big data analysis for a cross-border mobility is definitely one potential future if we talk about methodological issues. Simply, I sincerely hope that the data protection rules will not hinder too much these future uh, promising trends uh, in how to investigate migration. We see first the problems appearing here in Estonia, if we talk about uh, mobile positioning. And I sincerely hope that despite of uh, discussion in a panel, our dream about Nordic cooperation is still alive. Hopefully regional cooperation around Baltic Sea will become much stronger compared to what we see today and I hope that our conference distributed a small puzzle piece to the bigger picture. How we think, what our plans are, what the trends are. Uh, and we know today a bit more about cross-border cooperation between Baltics and Nordic countries. And last but not least, I would like to thank all presenters and all participants who stayed with us all these long three hours. My special thanks goes to ministers of Nordic countries 
uh, Nordic Council Estonia office and particularly to Madis Kanarbik for organizing this event. Thanks to Teet and all organizers from uh, Milton New Nordics who took care for technical support of whole event. I sincerely hope that in spring we will be back in a normal life and we can organize our next conference in traditional place in Estonian Art Museum. So, have a nice day and kohtumiseni järgmistel konverentsidel.